All right, all right, all right. It's not like I haven't done one of these in a little while, and I know I've been sick for a full week, but... I mean, I'm, I'm gonna be fine, right? I haven't lost my mojo, haven't lost my touch, and wait, this thing is recording, isn't it? What's going on, all you fantastic freelancers? Wow, it feels really good to say that again. William here, or should I say, finally here. So sorry about the lack of content this last week. I've been in bed for most of the week, and I'm just now getting back on track. However, I am fully rested and feeling better than ever. Now that we are back on our regular routine, we can start doing our usual Monday dev trackers again. As per the usual, these tweets come from our amazing developers for Anthem, and their tweets aren't listed in any special order aside from when the tweet was tweeted. Now, a few of these tweets might be out of place because because, well, I had to scroll all the way through my Twitter feed for about two weeks to find these. And since I missed last week's dev tracker, some of those tweets will be included in this list. Our first tweet of the week comes from Starlight Spade, who tweets, What were the thoughts slash reasons behind creating Anthem with no PvP? Mike Gamble, who is one of the producers and the man on the front of this week's thumbnail, replied that the team wanted to create a game that was optimized for PvE, and create weaponry, which is fantastic and didn't have to be balanced for competitive play. To me, that is absolutely incredible to hear, and deals with one of my biggest gripes with Destiny 1 and 2, how if they had to nerf something in PvP, they would also nerf it in PvE. Brybro tweets if there will be AI teammates for those who want to play in solo play. I know we've gone over this before, but Mike's response does have a little something interesting in it. Mike replied that there wouldn't be AI teammates in the world for launch, and instead you will have to play either alone, with friends, or with randos in your instance. So there might be potential in the future for AI teammates, but not at launch. A fan tweets to Mark Dara if the Javelins will have a scanning system to identify objects of lore and enemy weak points. Mark replied that while some creatures do have weak points, you will have to discover them on your own. And as far as lore goes, it will be found around the world. Now, this next tweet confuses me a little bit, and given our previous tweet that John Warner answered, uh, well, you, you'll understand in a second. A fan tweets to Mark in regards to if the storm can wield some sort of magic. Now, John Warner already replied to me and stated that the Anthem of Creation is too unwieldy and too willful and too powerful, it would be like breaching a dam to put out a campfire. However, it's Mark Dara's response that has me a little confused. Mark replied that the Storm Javelin can tap into the Anthem of Creation more directly than other Javelins, which could open up a slew of possibilities. Can the other Javelins tap into the Anthem of Creation? How do they do it? Perhaps that's something to cover in another video. Lisa Jane Creed tweets if there will be other settlements in the world to explore outside of our Javelin. To which Mike Gamble responded that you will have access to your Strider, however Fort Tarsus will be the main focus at launch. So, one of my first tweets ever when I first started Anthem content creation was about support attachments slash gear attachments for javelins such as the Storm. As many of you know, I usually play the healer or support character in some capacity in these type of games. And it looks like we may finally have an answer to the support capabilities of the Storm. Popsicle Thief tweets if we are able to customize any if not all of the javelins with gear so that we can play in the support slash healer role. To which Mark cleverly answered that they are not talking about the storm at this time. I see what you did there, Marky Mark. Clever man. However, Mike Gamble follows up that tweet by stating that you can focus on buff slash debuff gear pieces for your suits. Interesting. Very interesting. Glitched Infinity tweets if there will be enemies that pilot javelins, as well as freelancers, to which Mark replied that there would be, and that they would be some of the toughest non-boss enemies to fight. Another fan tweets if the jetpack is only default, or if we can customize its flight effects. Mark replied that it is not possible to customize it at this time, but he's incredibly interested in doing this in the future. Ben Sleeven tweets, Does the Javelin Interceptor come from the Corvus faction kind of like how the technology for the Storm came from the Dominion? Or is it just the symbol that you can put on your Javelin if you want? First, that is a fantastic find, Ben. Anthem Insider also found a couple as well, and I highly recommend you go check out his Twitter to find more of those. However, second, Mark replied that the symbol was indeed a Corvus insignia. This gives me an idea, but more on that in a bit. And that's all for this week's list. No. 
Seriously, that's it. I've missed covering two weeks worth of tweets, and this is it. Most of the tweets that were answered were in regards to demo release date questions, how many editions will Anthem have, or if they plan to make more, and so on, the usual. I almost gave myself a concussion over how many separate times these questions were answered. <sighs> but that's the end of my mini rant. I'm just glad to be back in action and creating more content for you all again. A few things of note before I end this video. This weekend, I had the sincere pleasure of being on Anthem Insider hosted by my good buddy, Mr. Bags. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can watch our two hour show. Next, our Anthem concept contest is ongoing right now. I'll leave a card right about here with the explainer video and a link to submit your Javelin concepts in the description below. Lastly, now that the press conferences are finally over, I'll be returning to my regular scheduled content uploads of three to four times a week, with the videos going up in the late afternoon to evenings CDT. But anyways, that's all I have for this week's video. If you liked what you saw, a thumbs up would certainly be appreciated, and if you are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and come join in on the Your Anthem family on Discord. And as ever, a huge thank you to my patrons for your generous support. I've started ordering a few parts for my first ever gaming PC so I can start streaming and gaming with you all as soon as possible. As ever, I hope all of you fantastic freelancers have a phenomenal day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all soon. Peace out, everyone.